NetApp brings an innovation in flash storage systems, the fabric pool aggregates. Storage capacities grow more quickly than your storage budgets can handle. The data that is accessed most today can be least accessed tomorrow. With Fabric Pool, you can move your infrequently accessed or cold data to external, less expensive storage solution available in the public or private cloud. Fabric Pool is an SSD is an all SSD aggregate that has an external capacity tier attached to it. Data that is written to on tap SSD aggregates is denoted as performance tier and backup and snapshot that is moved to Amazon S3 or NetApp Storage Grid web scale is called as the capacity tier. That is not all. The data at rest is moved to capacity tier in secure channels via TLS 1.2 or the AES 256 encryption to keep your data secure all through during its flight. Fabric pool technology brings in a pool of advantages. The setup is simple with little policy management, provides you with secure channels for data in flight with significant savings in total cost of ownership transparent to existing applications, making your data hybrid cloud ready. Now let's see how Fabric Pool works. You can attach capacity tier to SSD aggregates and set tiering pulses on the SSD volumes. Currently supported tiering pulses are snapshot only, which is the default, or backup where data is tiered to the capacity tier as snap mirror or snap wall destination or set the uh, policy to none. On command unified manager is the best tool to monitor and manage fabric pool environments. With on command unified manager 7.2 you can visualize, report and set up alerts for all external capacity tiers. Upon login we will navigate to the cluster details page where we will see capacity tier associated to the cluster. The capacity tab shows a visual representation of space consumption by each capacity tier that is associated to the cluster. The configuration tab shows each unique capacity tier associated. As shown here, we have a S3 bucket and uh, NetApp storage grid web scale associated. The aggregate grid page allows you to filter all fabric pool aggregates from other type of aggregates available. The aggregate details page shows you a visual representation of the external capacity tier usage whereas uh, the configuration tab shows you the provider name, FQDN, access key and bucket name of the bucket for each external capacity tier that is associated to this aggregate. Unified Manager allows you to uh, set alerts on event related to external capacity tier availability and usage. You can set up availability alerts using the external capacity tier as the resource the event name being external capacity tier un unreachable. Also set up capacity alerts on external capacity tier by selecting cluster as the resource. In addition, you can also generate and schedule reports on external capacity tier consumption metrics. These uh, ready to consume reports are available at cluster and aggregate levels as shown here. This is the aggregate details wherein you uh, get external capacity tier detail the capacity being used. Thank you.